In this video, I will show you how to fix ERR GFX D3 D init error after launching the GTA 5 game. This error can appear if you use ENB or other graphics effects in GTA 5. There are three ways to fix this error. First, I will show you the first way because it is the best. You need to open the NVIDIA app. Once NVIDIA is installed, you'll be able to find an icon on your desktop or in the hidden icons section. Launch the NVIDIA application and select Settings. In the Settings, you need to find the Game Filters and Photo Mode function. You need to disable this feature, because this feature is not currently compatible with ENB. After disabling the Game Filters and Photo Mode feature, the game will start without error. I successfully launched the GTA 5 game with ENB. The ENB function is working and the effects are activated. Also I can use NVIDIA's video recording feature. In this way, you can fix this error. If you have an AMD graphics card, then you can use this method too. If the first method did not help you, then you can try the second method. Open the GTA 5 game folder and select ENB files. You can delete them if you don't want to use ENB, or simply move these files to another folder to deactivate ENB. After that, you will be able to run the GTA 5 game without error and without ENB. But in this way, you will be able to use the standard game filters and photo mode feature in NVIDIA. If the first and second methods did not help you, then you can try the third method. If you are using mods, then try deleting mods or moving them to a different folder to deactivate mods. After that, launch the Steam or Epic Games launcher where you bought the GTA 5 game. If you bought GTA 5 on Steam, then select the game and open properties. In the Installed Files section, you need to verify the game files. If you bought GTA 5 from the Epic Games Launcher, then select the game and select Manage. After that, verify the game files. After verifying the files, you will be able to run the GTA 5 game without mods and check how the game works. But I think the first way will help you and you can fix the error to play with mods again. That's all. If you liked this video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching.